Hi guys, this tutorial would be on making the flipping or scrolling animation of pages. Uh, it looks cool at the end and uh, you would learn something new in this tutorial. Before you, we skip into the page flip animation part, uh, I would be making an open book with the line tool. Uh, I think which is going to act as the base for the pl flipping pages. So let's start. Uh, going to the perspective view with Alt W. Uh, go into the shape uh, tab, play, select line, go into left view, uh, just make a shape something like this, uh, something bending like this and coming back again down and a little higher, yeah that's fine and uh, you see this is the pages, uh, I'd be extruding it so uh, it would be looking at, uh, like a page, uh, you'll just see it now okay yeah that's fine now let's right click this uh, line convert to editable poly uh, select the plus sign over here and uh, select polygon select this polygon over here and uh, scroll down a bit extrude uh, this, let's extrude it to 200 maybe uh, I think that's a little longer so let's make 180 maybe so uh, you could see the edges now uh, we don't need that so select the editable poly now and uh, uh, just uh, scroll down over here in the modified tab click s in your keyboard better uh, and you'll be knocking yourself into the smooth option click it and uh, select auto smooth uh, the lines have disappeared yeah that's fine uh, let's make the uh, let's remove the grid click g in your keyboard okay now um, click M, M in your keyboard for the material editor uh, I'll be changing the color to white and uh, ascend material okay so yeah okay that's it now come to uh, come over here to create tab uh, and uh, select box come to top view and uh, let's let's drag a let's drag a mouse something over here and uh, okay that's fine come to perspective view and uh, let's change the uh, let's change the size here to re uh, resize tool and uh, make it smaller uh, this is the cover of the book uh, uh, let's make it a little like this yeah okay and uh, yeah yeah that's fine so this is the cover of the book and uh, you see how this is going to work uh, you see let's make it somewhat over here yeah okay so let's make this mirror select both the pages as well as the cover and uh, yeah before that I think we'll have to be doing this as you can see this uh, part over here is cutted it's not perfect uh, so let's uh, uh, you'll learn this cap tool over here come over here over here and uh, select this border and uh, select this border over here you can see the red line and uh, come over here to cap see now this uh, part over there was uh, is covered that's fine Cl click, uh, click editable poly and you'd be going back yeah okay so uh, now uh, let's give the mirror option select both the pages and the and the cover and give mirror uh, click mirror and uh, give copy and uh, I think Y would be fine I think yeah and click OK uh, now let's move this over here now let's move to the animation part uh, we'll create the flipping page now the page which is going to be flipping uh, now uh, go to the line select line over here and uh, click L in your keyboard uh, for left view now uh, create a line which goes like the surface of the pages uh, something like this uh, okay uh, don't create a lot of vertices uh, it would be uh, complicated later so create around maybe uh, seven vertices yeah okay uh, now uh, yeah that's fine go to the perspective view now uh, and select the move tool and move the uh, line in the to the middle of the pages that's fine go over here and uh, in the uh, in the rendering uh, menu uh, select en uh, enable in renderer and enable in viewport instead of radial let, uh, let's give rectangle <clears throat> and uh, let's change the length to 180 
as we gave the length of the pages to 180 uh, yeah that's fine uh, now just move a little higher uh, yeah okay then uh, that's good now so uh, now uh, click M in your keyboard for material editor and assign the white material to the page you see uh, the page is blended to the uh, other pages now <clears throat> let's move to the animation now select the line uh, go to the left view uh, and uh, come over here to the uh, pivot tab and uh, affect pivot only now move the uh, move the arrow over here in the middle of the book and uh, select affect pivot only uh, again and now uh, select auto key and let's move the frame to around 50 uh, yeah 50 and uh, select the rotate tool and uh, rotate it something like this yeah, okay now uh, go over here uh, select the plus sign select vertex now let's move the uh, vertex uh, somewhat parallel to the pages something like this yeah okay place this uh, over here and uh, it should be very easy uh, just do like this uh, three more to go yeah, okay uh, I think a little lower you can leave some gap uh, don't stick it to the book uh, yeah, okay something like this yeah that's fine now uh, now go to the perspective view uh, it should be something like this uh, yeah, okay now when you move you could see the uh, animation the pages moving around yeah. now uh, exit it by clicking auto key okay now select the line now uh, it's time to render the animation uh, select go to the rendering and render setup uh, just scr scroll down and you can see the uh, file button select it uh, you can save wherever you want. Uh, I'll be saving it in my uh, desktop. Uh, in the formats, you, you should change it to AVI uh, file format. Give a name and save. Click OK. Now uh, you should move I. Uh, select click range 0 to uh, 70. Okay. Uh, now uh, that's every setting that needs to be done. So now let's click render. Uh, it would take a few seconds to finish uh, when it's done go check the video uh, I'll be going to desktop and there it is test and voila I hope you like this video and thanks uh, a lot for watching uh, and don't forget to subscribe uh, my channel thank you